Tar Heels have not made it out of the opening weekend in the last two tournament years. You would think with the experience of a coach like Roy Williams, they would know the importance of free throws and how they can make or break you in close games. This team was 338th in the nation from the strike and broke their school record with a worse 62.6 free throw percentage. Most would call the Tar Heels season a down year, but they won 24 games, were 13 and five in the ACC play and are expected to make their annual appearance in March Madness. This year, they're not going to settle for an opening weekend departure and have the goods not only to make the final four, but with an absolutely loaded front court, they will be involved in plenty of high scoring games this season. The Tar Heels had no problem at home with a 17 four straight up record, but on the road, they were barely at 500 at seven and six straight up. Covering the line was a different story at 16 and 18 against the spread and even 10 and 10 at home with some favorite high numbers. For a team that was second in the ACC for their shooting percentage and points per game, they were only a smidge over 500 with totals, seeing 16 and 15 with the over under. This year's team may be ranked in the preseason top 10, but there are still plenty of questions to be answered for a young team who didn't win one game in the end of season conference tournament and didn't get out of opening weekend in the big tournament. The voters and Las Vegas will always give Coach Williams and the Tar Heels the benefit of the doubt that they will have a strong team and a great season. But the jury is still out and they still have a lot to prove. Marcus Page is the general in the backcourt and loved being asked to take big shots in late situations. Joel Berry and Nate Britt will battle for time next to Page, but both will see plenty of playing time regardless of who starts. Front court, loaded and ready to pick up where they left off last season. JP Takoto is an ACC first team defensive two-way player who does it all. Rebounding will certainly not be an issue with Kennedy Meeks and Bryce Johnson filling the lanes. And there is size up and down this bench. Free throw shooting has got to be addressed though, as a repeat of a school worst percentage will simply not be tolerated and it could essentially lead to a big loss at the wrong time. Join us at BetDSI.com for the best North Carolina Tar Heels basketball betting options, including futures, props, and live in progress betting during the games.